How y'all are? I'm glad that you could join me today. I guarantee today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. How we doing today? How we doing tonight? Wherever you are in this great big world, I hope you're doing alright. And it is Walpurgis Knot. Hexen Knot. Which is night. And I have nothing planned. So why am I talking about this? Actually, um, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a little afraid right now. If you remember back in August, I made a video talking about Azathoth or Azathoth, and I'm supposed to do my dedication ritual on Walpurgis Night, which is today. Well, back in August, I didn't expect there to be a pandemic going around. I wrote out my dedication ritual. The only thing is I didn't do the sigil or the symbol. And I was going to show you guys. So here it is. April 30th. And I haven't got a goddamn thing done. Because being an essential worker, or as uh, one of my friends slash subscribers puts it, being a dumbass slave, I've been working hard to service the ungrateful trash. There's out there. Now, not everybody is ungrateful. I do get people here and there, on one hand, that show their gratitude for this dumbass slave. Every day that I go into work, or 99.0% of the time I go out of the house, I make sure Pazuzu's with me, either in a pocket or around my neck. Now, There's some stuff that's been going on around the house that ties into all of this. Back in 2018, I was seeing shadow entities on Walpurgis well, Knock. this time because I honestly don't remember fully last year except for what Facebook memories shows me but this year kind of sticks out like a sore thumb y'all saw that creepy clock video I still don't know what the hell that was about. I'm leaving it open for any of you guys to give your uh, thoughts and suggestions on what it could have been. And then last night, 
or I should say, this morning, I get up to take a piss, and I'm standing there, doing my business, and underneath the house, it sounds like a child, like a five-year-old child, stomping and running. Like running, stomping like children do. Right underneath me. And I'm standing there going, what the fuck? And just... Hearing whispers, and just getting that feeling of being watched. Nothing new to an occultist, or a magician, or a sorcerer, or a witch, or whatever you want to call yourself. It's nothing new. This is another day in the life of my life. But, what makes it just a little bit more creepy... And off-putting was the fact that this is just right after something happening in my family with a family member. And I refer you to my Found God video. But, um, it's just, when you deal with a situation that hurts you, which said family member is making a great recovery, by the way, still not out of the woods, but... Hell of a lot better than they were. But, uh... You know, my faith, my strength, and my emotions were pushed. So, I'm a little afraid... Plus, dealing with all these ungrateful motherfuckers. But anyway. Um, I still have time to do the ritual, but... If I do, it's going to be like my very first dedication ritual to a Reshkigal, where it's incomplete and half-assed. But it's one of those things where that doesn't matter. It's the fact that I'm dedicating, you know, that I'm putting myself into my gods and goddesses. That I'm showing love and respect for them. It's the... The meaning, you know? It's like, uh... It's the thought that counts. Like when you give a gift to somebody. It's not the gift. It's the thought. So... Um... If I do, expect a video tomorrow or Saturday, if I do do it, but um, I do have another video to, to do, so I want to thank you all for watching, thank you all for listening, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, 
If you want to come find me on social media, my links are in the description. And to all my witchy friends and such, I hope you have a great witch's night. I love you all.